keeping the arms slightly curved, reach the arms forward and around in towards each other, palms facing each other, and then control the arms back out to the side, opening through the chest. Exhale as you bring the arms around in front, inhale as you open the arms out to the side. The challenge is to stabilize the pelvis and the upper thoracic, so avoid pushing the ribs forward or flexing the spine and be mindful to avoid elevation of the shoulder blades or pinching of the shoulder blades back as the arms go out. Keep a width across the shoulder blades as you move. Keeping the elbows slightly bent, reach the arms forward so that the palms reach towards each other as if you're hugging the arms around and then widen through the chest as you bring the arms out to the side. Exhale to curve the arms forward and around in front of you. Inhale as you allow the arms to control themselves back out to the side. This cross -leading leg position is for those that struggle with the long sit position and it's still key to stabilize through the spine, not allowing lumbar flexion or extension or hyper elevation or pinching of the shoulder blades. Keeping the spine neutral, reach and press the arms forward, straightening through the elbows and control the carriage as the elbows bend back by the side of the body. Exhale to reach the arms forward, slightly higher than shoulder level if can be possible. Inhale to flex the elbows back down by the side, controlling the shoulder blades and their stability on your back. Maintain a neutral length through the spine, avoiding hyperextension through the low back or displacing the ribs forward. Keep the abdominals engaged to maintain the length through the spine. Keeping the scapula stabilized, reach the arms forward and up on a slight diagonal, straightening the elbows, and then control the carriage back, bending the elbows so the upper arm goes back by the side. Exhale to reach forward and up, inhale to control it back down. As you're reaching the arms forward and coming back with control, keep the scapula stabilized on the back and the spine lifting up and lengthening, abdominals engaged to avoid hyperextension through the low back. 